Okay, today we have an ink, an ink comparison for you. We're gonna compare six of our um, go-to purple inks. We have an Iro Shizuku ink by Pilot. Everyone loves the ink bottle for the 50 milliliter Iro Shizuku inks. So if we happen to get you attached to this purple, that's a bonus. It's a Mirasaki Shikibu, and I 100% am not pronouncing that correctly, sorry. First, we're gonna do an ink splash for you. So this is the first ink. And these are all gonna be on the Claire Fontaine Triumph paper. The second ink is a Sailor ink, and this is one of the Sailor Yurameku inks, the 20, mil 20 milliliter ink bottles. And this is the first set of inks that they released fairly recently that are the color changing inks. And the color of the ink changes depending on the paper that you use and the length of time that they have to develop on the paper, etc. We're also including a Colorverse ink, and this is the mini version of um, Opportunity ink from their Red Planet. Um, series. The um, Opportunity Purple ink was originally available in the, the really large, um, I believe it's a 65 milliliter color verse from the pair, um, but so people love this 5 milliliter version. And next we have a Monte Verde, and this is Purple Mist ink. The Monte Verde inks are really usable and affordable, and they have a lot of great colors. Let's see if this is one of them that draws you in. Um, and then after the Monte Verde Purple Mist ink, we're going to also take a look at a Conklin, and it's the Conklin Vintage Purple ink. And the Vintage Ink Collection Conklin um, released last year in 2022. I love their bottles. I love the look. The vintage look really draws me in. Um, the Private Reserve ink is Plum. And if you love a wide opening for your ink, Private Reserve all the way. Their ink bottles have a huge opening at the top. So this is Plum on Claire Fontaine. Okay, and now let's do writing samples. Um, and we're using a J. Herbin spiral glass dip pen to write these writing samples out. We're gonna go through all and all of the ink splashes and identify them with the ink name and brand and series on these first. And then we'll um, get started with a dry test and a water test for you. I always feel the need to apologize for inky fingers, but then I bet many of you also have inky fingers, so I'm not going to. Just no, that's ink all over my hands all the time. Um, okay, so we're gonna start the dry test. Just gonna write out dry test, one, two, three, and then water test, eight, nine, 10 on all of these. But after I let the dry test um, dry for about 10 seconds, I'm gonna give it a swipe with a dry cotton swab to show you how dry it got within about 10 seconds. And then we're gonna let the water test 8, 9, 10 line dry for two minutes and then come back with a wet cotton swab and swipe across the water test line just to show you how water resistant these are. None of these inks are you know, designed to be waterproof, but we just like to see how affected they'll be by wet water, by getting wet. Okay, and looking at this, the Conklin and Private Reserve dried the fastest. Most resistant to water, I'd say, is the Private Reserve Plum. And the most interesting effect water had was probably that Yurameku by Sailor. Take a look, it's cool. This was our purple ink comparison. Hope you enjoyed it. Follow for more and visit pinchley.com to find these inks.